Hey everybody, back with a new, not episode of Babylon 5, but a new movie. Um, I put on Patreon that I decided to go in release order for everything that is a part of the Babylon 5 universe. And this movie came out after season four. Um, in the beginning, um, with the title, I think I read that this is like a prequel type thing. I think so in the beginning um how like how far in the beginning we just came off an episode where we went so far into the future that um in the beginning could be <laughs> at any time i would i would hope it would be like the beginnings of babylon 5 so we could um have our familiar characters um but you know i'm still like basking in the afterglow of the last episode which i just love so much um kind of taking us all the way through the life cycle of um, the the cause and effect of everything that we saw on Babylon 5. Um, it, did, it did seem very cyclical in the way that we, humanity, got to the point of the Vorlons and uh, shadows. Um, and I guess that last, that million years later was that, uh, mind war. So, I mean, it was just, it was just touching on so much and, and, uh, it really makes you appreciate, um, where the Vorlons and Shadows maybe have, would have started from, um, probably very small in the way we were just dealing with people and their actions and their consequences, but it became such a, such an ordeal later and people using history and the myth of it to their advantages and disadvantages and recreation of events and uh, deconstruction of events. It was just all very interesting. I really loved what they did there. Um, I, I, I still can't get over it. Um, but if we're taking it all the way back to the beginning, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, it's been a very long time since I saw The Gathering, which was that the first movie. Um, so if this is maybe near that time period, I hope it's not stuff that I'm gonna not remember. I'll try my best, but it has been a little while. Um, but I really don't know what to expect. Um, so, but I am, I'm, 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 I'm very happy to watch this and then get on to season five. And then we've got uh, more movies and I think there's like some series even. So I intend to watch all of it. I, I really do love this universe that I found myself in and uh, I'm excited to see what else they have in store. So in the beginning, I mean, I definitely think we're going to see some Borderlands and Shadows maybe. Um, but like Sinclair, I don't know if they can, I don't think they, I don't, can they do that? Um, but maybe it's before even that, but so we wouldn't see Sheridan or maybe like a younger version of him. Like I have no context for, maybe I'm even misremembering what I read about it. Maybe this is not a prequel. I don't know. I'm just going to get into it because I, I, I don't know, but yeah, let's do it. It is said hey. that in every age, there is one singular event that forever changes the world around us. Oh, shit. A nexus, if you will. <gasps> nexus! A future was born. A future that would one day have a name whispered on a hundred worlds. A final refuge for dreams. Oh, I'm fine. But a last, best hope and <laughs> peace. Yeah! Babylon 5. Ah. This is the Emperor's window, Luke. He's the only one who can look out of the palace. That's why we can't stay. We have to go before. No. It's all right. Are you really the emperor? I sometimes ask myself the same thing. Yes, I am the emperor. Tell me a story. Hmm? No, no. It's all right. You did far better with that question than I did. Oh, we're going to hear it told by What kind of story would you like to hear? I want a story about great battles, and wars, and bravery, and heroes, and villains. It began with the humans, you know. They changed the universe. But in doing so, paid a terrible price. Mm. It 
began 35 of their years ago. Ah, Malari. Oh, Good. wow. I'd like you to meet General Lefcourt. General Ronald Malari, liaison to the Centauri delegation. What do you know about a race called Minbari? Oh, here we go. We've had some dealings with them in the past, but nothing in recent years. Why? We're going to send an expedition to their border to see if they pose a threat to our program to expand our sphere of influence. We understand that fully a third of their population is dedicated to warfare. Look, all we're asking from the Centauri is that you give us whatever you've got on the location of their military forces even, so like, we can avoid any possible contact. hope for something contact. to happen because well, you know what happens. Fool, excuse me for saying so, but it sounds like you're mainly concerned with keeping your monopoly on our business. How much more can you ask of us? But now is when the prophecy said that we would be needed most. We must begin to move. I'm sorry. Lenon, the cast elders have made their decision. Then I demand to speak with the Grey Council. If you force the issue, the Rangers may pay the price. Ignore my request, and we shall all pay the price for their stupidity. I would listen to the Rangers. Are we going to see uh, Dukat? I would think so. Hey! Step into the circle and speak. That's him, isn't it? The blood of many who died in that war is on my hands. My fault. In the Earth Minbari War? You were involved? Money, resources, people. And we must attempt a rapprochement with the Volans. <laughs> if the Volans do not see the danger, then perhaps the danger does not exist. Master? I'll say all that. Adeline! If I may. Oh, wow. It's been a while. There may be a way to give the others the proof they require. It will cause unnecessary panic among our people. I agree. So they will not have to go. Thank you. We will go. Oh, shit. What? I think I'd like to see it once before I die. Mm. Wouldn't you, Dylan? Yes. Borland should have contacted us by now. Yes, they should. But if the legends surrounding the Vorlons are correct, remember that they do not reveal themselves quickly and never all at once. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. I didn't say anything then and I'm not saying anything now. <laughs> Be cool. It's been a long day. I must go to my sanctum and meditate on this in private. <gasps> oh! Is that Kosh? No, it starts. Our Kosh? Yes, green yes. button. How's your father? He's fine, sir. He sends his regards. Look at he you! To remind you respectfully. A baby. That you still owe him forty credits from last week. A buzz. Yes, yes, I'll get it to him eventually. We're sending out a mission to the border of Minbari space. The ships involved will survey the disposition of their forces and determine if Minbari have any hostile intentions towards us. I want you on that ship as first officer. I am already assigned to the Lexington. The men under his command consider him a loose cannon. I'd rather not walk into a situation where I might have to go up against my own CEO if things got hot. Dismissed. Yes, sir. We probably needed him to go, though. Maybe we would have... I don't know how it could have been prevented, though. It was just miscommunication. Maybe he should have gone. I was only thinking of what you said earlier. And remembering that from time to time, aliens have come to us pretending to be Vorlons. Since no one alive has ever seen them, it's easy to be deceived. Mm. Are you saying I'm being deceived? I'm not saying anything. I did not say anything then, and I'm not saying anything <laughs> now. Wait, wait. Unless you are saying you've seen a Vorlon. I'm saying even less than you, except <laughs> for this. Prepare to jump to normal space. Navigation. Really fuck the shot, man. Roger that bridge. Jump engine standing by at your command. Will you follow me into fire? Will you follow me into darkness? Will you follow me into death? I will. Then follow. If they do this right, they're not even going to know we're here. I'm right, not going to do it right. I am become gray. I am become. I stand between the darkness. Destroyer of worlds. Light. Now we handle the Dill Guard, we can handle a few stray ships. Now, bring us in closer. Loose cannon. Nice, sir. 
There's no reason to concern Ducat with it until we know more. This is the cascade of errors. Change of course. Sir, alien ships have opened gun ports. No. Are they prepared to fire? I don't know. I can't tell. No. Oh, talk to me. Are they locked on us? Scanners are too powerful. Enemy presumed to be hostile. Weapons <laughs> hot. Uh, Weapons hot. So frustrated. All batteries, all forward guns. Fire at will. I repeat. Why fire. would you do this? Fire. Oh, Ducat. Oh, Galen. If if Shannon if Shannon had been there, would he have stopped him? Strike them down, follow them to the base, and, and kill them all of them! All of them! Ooh. No mercy! Stop. With the death of their leader, <laughs> Oh, they're the, in it. The Mimbari went mad. They swore revenge. How are they going to continue telling us about St. Clair? Susan. <gasps> what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at the university. The military takes care of its own. Oh, good. Then you'll back me up when I decide to sign up in a few months. Susan Ivanova, you can't... I'll be old enough by then. Well. Father won't stand for it. It's my choice, not his. Here, take this. Aww. For good luck. I won't wear it again until you come back. Until you give it back to me. That way, we know you'll come back. I don't think he comes back, does he? With access to some of your weapons, we'd at least stand a fighting chance. It's not our policy to supply advanced weapons to developing worlds. We'll pay any price. Yes. And then we will pay the price when the Mimbari come after us for helping you. He told you not to no, go I'm after sorry. them. There's not enough money in your entire planet to justify that risk. I refuse to help, just as you said he would. The Centauri care for no one but themselves. They would sooner see your world in flames than lift a finger to help. So it would seem. We endured slavery for a hundred years. A slave is immune to the fear of dying because to die is simply to end the cycle of pain. Oh, jeez. How much can you sell us? As much as you can afford, but the price will be high. Ducat would have never approved of this slaughter. This is simple retribution. This has gone beyond retribution, Moran. This Hasn't madness. it? It is genocide. This yes, it is. Isn't it? And you're quite right, Delin. This is very... The humans cannot oppose pertinent. us. The humans are a real enemy. An enemy I can touch, see, and kill. Sometimes I wonder where your loyalty really is. You dare? Or is it simpler just to be a coward? Hold on, get out. I was simply... I said get, get out. Get out. Are you a Vorton? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Not you. You get out of here. What are you doing here? Creating the future. Well, yes. If you're seeing this message, it is because I am dead. We'll need allies. In particular, a race that is so far unknown to us called humans. <laughs> About that. If we have not already, <laughs> I know. It is my hope that you will work with the Vorlons to find these humans and bring them into the battle on our side. Now, we still don't know what kind of enhanced energy weapons the Minbari are using, but can we do? What the hell is wrong with you, Sir, I am a doctor. My job is to save lives. In my opinion, I... I don't give a rat's ass about your opinion, mister. I want those notes. I can't do that. Excuse me? I don't think I heard that. I cannot allow my notes to be used in creating a biogenetic plague that could conceivably wipe out an entire race. That's what they're trying to do to us, son, or have you not been following the news lately? I know. And if we do the same, how are we any different? Damn it, mister. I am sorry, General. I want that transport followed. He's got a big head start on you, Eagle 7. Roger that. Maximum thrust. <gasps> oh, is that Ivanova's brother? If they jump into the middle of us, oh, this is big command. All ships break off. I repeat, break off. Way to listen. Too late, though. Ah. Oh, no. Oh. Captain, water. Oh. Oh man. Oh man. That's brutal. What do you suggest? We oh. have to find a way to open negotiations. Give us time to find a solution. That's why I need you, Renaud. 
Cease fire now. I cannot contact the humans directly or ask any other member of the Grey Council to do so. Our intelligence reports indicate that the humans have made a deal with the Narns to buy weapons. Through the Narns, we can arrange a meeting in neutral territory. Oh. But the danger is great. To live is to risk. That Mimbari crew's only left because they figured we were dead. If we send a distress signal, they'll come back and finish us off. If we sit here and do nothing, we're just as dead. Yeah. Roger that, sir. We could very well blow up right alongside the enemy. But at least we will have a fighting chance of taking them out with us. She's out of range of new two. Only one left. See you in hell. Oh my god. What saved you? Small victory. Needless to say, we plan on broadcasting this to every major planetary network for the next three days. Yeah. Black Star around. was their flagship. Remind them the Minbari do not take survivors. There you are. How are you on okay? To I guess it just, crew of he got away. Okay, great. They paid the price. Now I have another job for you. But my ship is going to be in space dock for some time being repaired. I need you for this immediately. Commander Sheridan, this is Jakar. Ah! Representative of the Narn regime, which has agreed to sell us weapons to help equalize the battle. You will rendezvous with a representative of the Minbari. Note. I said in theory. We've heard that certain oh, elements. Oh, he was supposed to meet up with the Lynn? Discuss finding a way that out. That doesn't this happen, though, does it? The annihilation of Earth. Most progressive. Or, no, I guess it's Lynn on. It could also be a trick. Okay. We want you to make contact because you've shown you can handle yourself against them if things get hot. They're just like Your one degree from each other. Protocol is so funny. Commander Sheridan? Ah! Dr. Stephen <laughs> The Frank. gang's all here. He's had a fair ah! amount of physical contact with the Minbari before the war. He can verify these individuals are who they say they are and be on hand in case things go badly. We're losing this war, John. Surrender. And if the only way the human race can survive is to surrender, then we will surrender. Yeah. Orders. We all have our orders. That is something you don't understand yet. You think to, to go to bed early is an order. My orders were to prevent the Nans from using the war to establish closer ties with the humans. My spies learned of the non mission to the Epsilon system. We assumed it was an armed shipment. We didn't know. We couldn't know that it was an attempt to end the war. Oh, Londo. Oh, Londo. And so I gave the order to intercept them. Oh, this is going to fucked up. We could arrange a safe haven for you, a few others. Thanks. But if my world goes, I'm going with it. A waste of material. Most unfortunate. <laughs> Our good doctor, I was just telling you a so Uh oh. We must find a way to resolve this so that many more of your people not get killed. Yes. We. Oh, wow, no. Ow. The ship is coming through the jump gate. Oh, shit. <gasps> is Lenon dead? No! Oh, no. I just gotta know. Not good. Oh, you need not dead, not dead. They will come looking for me. And they will blame you. Yeah. For me. Listen. Carefully. And repeat. Exactly. Did you hear it? Balin? Did Balin say? Yeah. I'm not. Oh my god! Ah! Meeting! Hey, I have a message! It's Silza! It's Silza! Let them go. She does. So I said, let them go. I was quick thinking by one enough death today. Don't get any escalation off of this. What does that mean? The future. Uh, we can still negotiate right now. Is that the end of the story? The end? Not at all. No. So this future is this is still in your future after everything. It's ironic, isn't it? I had every window in the palace blocked off because I was afraid if I came around the corner and saw this. I thought we maybe fix this because I would break down and cry. Sheridan came back. And yet I spend all of my time here in this room. The humans, I think, knew they were doomed. Yeah. But 
where another race would surrender to despair, the humans fought back with even greater strength. They did this for two years. They never ran out of courage. But in the end, they ran out of time. We will not lie to you. We do not believe that survival is a possibility. Damn, we it was, anyone who it was down to the nitty gritty. We'll never come home. It's been a long road, Delenn. But we are We've nearly at the end far. of our holy war. But are we any longer holy? Yeah, well, Why is it inward whenever for I that see one. you, you never speak other than to ask questions? The truth points to itself. What? The truth points to itself. Vague, but it's something, and it's from Green Cloud. You will. But go now. Go. He's gone. Picking up enemy transmissions. Stay in formation. Hold the line. No one gets through, no matter what. <gasps> Understood. Ah! Alpha leader, you have a memory on your tail. Oh my god! Is that reuse footage? I don't care. If our next step is the final assault on their world, we must know their defenses. Very well, Delenn. Choose. But quickly. We are fast running out of candidates. The truth points to itself. Points to itself! Right there, right there, right there! The Trilominary confirms it. The human has a Minbari soul. And not just a Minbari soul, a soul of Balin. Oh shit, y'all knew that specifically? But the Triluminary is our most holy relic. It cannot be questioned. We cannot kill him. And we cannot let him tell anyone else. If our people find out about this, before we can prepare them, it could be disastrous. Do y'all mess with his head? Sent for a telepath. <gasps> we will remove this memory from his Oh, you, you involved the telepath? To ensure that he does not remember. Leave that to me. Why did the Mimbari surrender at the Battle of the Line on the very eve of victory? The answer to that question would change the galaxy forever. Sure does. What happened when they found out? That is another story. It's for another time. <laughs> you gotta watch the series, little man. You cannot expect to hear all of the stories at once, you know. Today, the Senate has approved funding to begin construction on the Babylon Station, located in neutral space between several major governments. Together, we stood on the eve of destruction. Babylon. As a result of a terrible, terrible mistake. Will you remember this story? Will you remember me? All my life, Majesty. Me too. Very well. Go. Did they live happily ever after? For like tw 10 plus 20 that years. That remains to be seen. Does it remain to be seen? This is way later. Wait one hour and bring the prisoners here. The prisoners? Is this still happening? It can't be the same. Sheridan came back. I don't understand. How do we get to this? I accepted this fate a long time ago. I don't know how these futures come to be. The Sheridan came back. What a fun way to do this from Londo's point of view. And he's really the person that we found the most out about. Um, because it, it, it basically went the way that we knew it did. Um, even though it's hard to witness just how brutal it was, just how devastating it was for the humans. But Londo's involvement is so unfortunate because this is un this is unfortunately not just his only misstep. But this was this was a big one. Um, he'll have another one when he gets involved with the shadows. But uh thinking the worst in the Narn. And uh, wanting to stop them from establishing relationships with the humans really broke up our, the la what they thought was the last chance for peace. I mean, we eventually got there because of uh, Sinclair and the Triluminary and Valen and all of that. But many lives were lost up until that point. So, I mean...
it's just such an additional burden that Londo has had that we didn't know about, which is sad. Um, and you see him now so miserably the emperor, but I just don't understand. Like this is the future that we saw when, when Sheridan was time hopping. And I thought that specific future wasn't going to come to be because Sheridan came back from Zaha Doom. But maybe, maybe that still is on the table. It's unfortunate, it's sad because the way we left off, it was so uplifting and um, we had defeated the Forlorns and Shadows and negotiated this alliance. But how does that, how does that future still exist? It has to be something with their son. Um, I mean, I know we had the hundred years of peace, but we had the tel telepath war. And I mean, there's many things to, to have to deal with. And we know, We learned last episode that Sheridan comes to regret the um, colony of telepaths that he ends up putting together. We end up losing Garibaldi and he's really the only person that we didn't see in this. But yeah, I guess I guess there's still more to know with uh, Londo and Jakar and the future, even though we've seen a lot of the future. Um, it still doesn't all quite come together for me. But I was so excited to see Sheridan. I didn't, I mean, not Sheridan. I mean, I was excited to see Sheridan, but to see Sinclair. But oh, <laughs> I don't think, un unless I'm just not remembering, but I don't think that was all reused footage. It seems like they may have gotten him to come back for this, which is very unexpected. Like I said, I just did not expect to see him, even though I was like, well, he's pretty important to what happens right now. How, are, how is he not going to be in this part of the story? I guess they were just going to have to re reference him. That's what I was thinking. But to see him was so exciting. And it's also like, you know, it just also puts in perspective Delenn and her misstep because one choice made in a moment of anger about losing to Cot, and you know there is culpability there for from the crew of the Prometheus there's a lot of what ifs there too if Sheridan had been there would that have happened he decided not to go it's just these these little moments that have great impact and you'll just never know how it would have gone from what Londo did, to what Sheridan did, to do what Delenn did. It's, ah, uh, gosh. It's just, it's just what we are dealing with now. And to hear it be told by Londo here was so interesting. And I'm glad he didn't make himself out to be some great hero of this. Um, he, it looks like it's weighing on him heavily, but we, we knew it would. We know, we know it <sighs> continues to do so, even though like the last that we saw him in the timeline that we left off on, you know, he and Jakar are in a great place. He was a part of the Alliance being brought together. So, I mean, that's, and ending, but it's like he said, it that's not it, it just continues and it doesn't always continue in the greatest direction. There's a lot of ups and downs. And I'm excited to see what season five is gonna give to us. I mean the really the only thing I can expect is is maybe the beginnings of the telepath war and how Psychor plays into all of that. But, you know, what what is to come of Jakar and Londo's relationship? I, I wanted that future right there to have been a possible future that didn't actually come to be. Because we did see that one future 
where Babylon 5 got destroyed and that didn't end up happening. So I thought that future that we just saw with Londo wasn't going to happen because Sheridan came back. But the whole point of them showing us that in the in that one time was for Delenn to say, don't go to Zaha Doom. But he does go. So did anything change, really? I thought we came to the conclusion that it was good that he went because we ended up defeating the Shadows and the Vorlons. But maybe after everything, he shouldn't have gone. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to keep it all straight with all the future and all that stuff. But it was it was good to see the very beginnings of the Earth Minbari War. We had seen Dukat get killed and the Lin's orders, but the continuance of that with how much how much the war how much devastation the war brought. Um it's a lot. I can't believe they weren't able to stop it, but sooner. But Delenn was like it just take it took on a life of its own. And they were really going to completely wipe out the humans, which is wild. I mean, wow. Off of one misunderstanding because of cultural differences. It's wild. Wild, wild, wild. Um, it was nice, though. We, it was fun to see Dr. Franklin and... And even briefly, Ivanova and his and her brother, who we saw get killed, I'm pretty sure that's what we saw. Um, but her wanting to follow in his footsteps, and also like the Lynn and Sheridan like meeting before. I didn't know if we knew that. I don't remember that we knew that, or maybe they don't remember it as much. Because Dylan kind of had like her face hooded. But thankfully, Lenon told Sheridan what to say about um, Ducat's whatever the future was in it. Um, Save Sheridan's life, thankfully. Uh, but yeah, oh my goodness. We were so close to getting peace so much earlier on, and Londo really fucked that up. And that is a burden he bears, along with many others. But, yeah, this was really good. It was fun to see the things that we had heard about, but just witnessing it, it just gives it more weight. And uh, to see all the gang and how they were circling each other, even before they all knew each other, and then for it to you know, come to a, a fairly happy ending to see the, the, the beginnings of Babylon 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5, and then where that all leads. So I, I really enjoyed this as a prequel. Um, I think it'll be really fun once I rewatch the show to maybe watch this all in sequential order after I watch it in release order. But uh, yeah, this was this was very enjoyable. I'm very excited to get on to season five and then whatever else we get up into. But yeah, this is really good. And uh, everybody played such an important role at different times throughout the story. And I just really like how they set this up with Londo telling this tale. And, and his part in it. I really like, that was a really smart idea. So yeah, I, really, really good movie. So I'm, I'm very glad I watched it. So thanks for watching us. I'll be back soon.